Elon Musk reveals a killer asteroid zooming to Earth. What to expect from the DART asteroid deflector mission by NASA? A plan to defend Earth against asteroids will soon undergo its first test by NASA. As part of a planetary defense test, a NASA spacecraft known as DART is going to purposefully collide with an asteroid. Although this space rock is not a concern, the information we gather from the mission may be useful if an asteroid were to ever approach us. How big is this? Well, let's find out while Elon Musk will update us all. Hello everyone, welcome back to Elon Musk Evolution, where we bring you the most recent news about Elon Musk and his multi-billion dollar companies. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our amazing videos. And let's dive in! In 2017, astronomers predicted that Japan might be struck by an asteroid the size of a cruise ship within the next 10 years. At the annual planetary defense meeting in Tokyo, scientists and government representatives from NASA and other space agencies quickly came up with a plan to divert the asteroid from its course toward Earth. A fleet of robotic spacecraft that would launch in the following few years would determine the fate of the island. The international space agencies came together in 2020 and launched four ships in the direction of the dangerous space rock. The so-called kinetic impactor ships made direct contact with their objectives. Japan's cities and neighborhoods were spared total destruction, saving the country from a monumental evacuation effort. None of these things actually occurred. It was a simulation, similar to the frequent tabletop role-playing games that officials engage in. And at these drills, deflecting an asteroid from outer space on its approach to a disastrous collision with Earth has emerged as the preferred option for safeguarding the planet. However, nobody is certain if the method will actually be effective. No attempt has ever been made by humans to deflect an asteroid from our planet. According to Musk, the 28,000 nearest asteroids that NASA monitors do not yet constitute a threat to Earth. However, as asteroids are discovered by astronomers on average every year, it's possible that we'll one day discover one bearing our name. We're not simply sitting ducks, though, thanks to the planned DART attempt to divert a harmless asteroid. Don't Look Up, a recent Netflix movie presented as a parable for the denial of climate change while also serving as a warning about the potential dangers of impending asteroids. Ask the dinosaurs, please. The president launches a mission to use nuclear weapons to destroy the asteroid during the movie, which is typical of how Hollywood handles such situations. Scientists have demonstrated that nuclear weapons may be able to destroy dangerous asteroids in the real world, but a small fragment of the debris may still strike Earth. NASA is imagining a more sophisticated method one that leans a little more towards jujitsu instead of this bare knuckle boxing strategy. NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office would attempt to alter an asteroid's orbital course and redirect it away from the Earth's path rather than slam it to pieces. A mission to test this hypothesis is NASA's $308 million double asteroid redirection test, or DART. On September 26th, a 1,376-pound probe will attempt to collide with a small asteroid at a speed of about 15,000 miles per hour. Dimorphos, a minor asteroid, is not dangerous to Earth, but by changing its orbital track, NASA will have successfully tested a method for deploying kinetic impactors to push potentially harmful asteroids out of the way. The project intends to change the orbit of Dimorphos, an asteroid that orbits Didymus, a little bigger asteroid, Musk explained. Developed by teams at the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory, DART is NASA's first planetary defense test mission. That's APL. APL was designed by NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office to oversee the project, but numerous other organizations, including NASA Goddard Space Flight Center, Johnson Space Center, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, the European Space Agency, and the Italian Space Agency, also made significant contributions. On November 24, 2021, DART was sent into orbit by a SpaceX Falcon 9. After traveling 6.8 million miles to get to Didymus, the spacecraft is reaching the end of its 11-month trip. On September 26th at 7.14 p.m., DART is predicted to reach its destination, ET, at which point it will collect with Dimorphos, destroying itself but perhaps shifting the asteroid's course. DART needs to do three course correction adjustments in the latter three weeks of the trip to stay on course. According to NASA, the final of these maneuvers will take place about 24 hours before the impact, at which point the navigation team will be able to pinpoint Dimorphos' location to an accuracy of 1.24 miles. DART's self-driving navigation system, known as Smart Nav, will then direct it in the direction of its destination. The 5,250-foot-wide Dimorphos and the 2,650-foot-wide Didymus are said to be distinguished by Smart Nav in order to avoid any confusion at the scene. 
Will we get to witness the impact? Elon Musk says, yes, there will be many eyes on Earth and in space intently observing the experiment. By virtue of its lone scientific tool, the Didymus Reconnaissance and Asteroid Camera for Optical Navigation, DART will offer a point of view perspective of its demise. This camera, sometimes referred to as Draco, transmits data to SmartNav and will take pictures of the binary pair as DART approaches. On July 27th, Draco photographed the couple from a distance of 20 million miles away. Moreover, thanks to the light Italian CubeSat for imaging asteroids, or Lycia Cube, we'll have front row seats for the event. High resolution color photographs will be captured from a secure distance by its two onboard cameras, Luke and Leia. NASA's ground based telescopes and radar here on Earth will keep a careful eye on the situation. ESA's S Track network, which has dish antennas in Australia and Argentina, will be used to track the experiment at resolutions up to several hundred meters. The planned HERA mission, which is a joint NASA and ESA effort, will launch a probe in 2024 to investigate the impact's long term repercussions and perhaps get a peek of Dimorphos' new crater, Musk stated. Two CubeSats will travel on board HERA with it. The rotation and course of the moonlet will be monitored by scientists in the months and years after the impact to see if there have been any changes. At 6 o'clock p.m. on September 26, NASA TV will start broadcasting live coverage of the DART experiment. At 7.14 p.m. Eastern Time, the impact should happen. On NASA TV, NASA YouTube, NASA Facebook, and NASA Twitter, live coverage will be broadcast. While robotic ground-based telescopes attempt to observe the impact, the Virtual Telescope Project will also offer live coverage of the event. The four main goals outlined by the Space Agency are to successfully demonstrate a kinetic impact with Dimorphos, alter its orbital trajectory, use ground-based telescopes to monitor changes in Dimorphos' orbital period, and measure the impact's physical effects such as debris ejecting from the asteroid. But ultimately, it's a trial run for planetary defense tactics. According to NASA, DART's target asteroid is not a threat to Earth, but is the perfect testing ground to see if this asteroid deflection technique, known as the kinetic impactor technique, would be a practical way to protect our planet if an asteroid on a collision course with Earth were discovered in the future. Didymus and Dimorphos do not currently threaten Earth and will not do so after DART. This system was chosen by NASA because it is an example of the similar binary pairs that may be found across the solar system and because it's thought to be the best candidate for such a test. According to NASA, the collision will alter the speed of the moonlet and its orbit around the main body by a fraction of 1%, but this will alter the moonlet's orbital period by several minutes, enough to be observed and measured using telescopes on Earth. And just to be clear, according to Musk, there is no immediate threat to Earth from a huge asteroid, at least for the next 100 years. And that'll end today's video. What do you think of today's episode? Will NASA be successful in destroying the asteroid? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And we sincerely hope you enjoyed our video today. If you did, please click on the like button and share with your friends and family. And make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more incredible videos. Thanks for watching.